Okay, so this is the solution for problem number two. And again, we have a meter stick, and we see it's 100 centimeters long, as all meter sticks are. Okay, now it says here that there's a mass, right, that one, which is this one here, right, that's pulling down, and so that will exert uh, a force equal to its weight, okay? And it is 20 centimeters away, oh, in the 20 centimeter mark here. So that distance from there to there is 20 centimeters. The pivot or fulcrum, right, is at 42.5 centimeters. I don't know if it's clear or not. Okay, and what are we looking for? We, it's going to be in static equilibrium, but we're looking for the mass of the meter stick. So, oh dear. The mass is not there, but we know that the mass of any object is actually applied to its center of gravity, which is here at the 50 centimeter mark. So we're going to put an arrow like that, and we're going to call this Fg, which is the weight of the meter stick. Okay, couple of clarifications. Uh, weight is equal to mass times the acceleration of gravity. And this is what we're looking for. The torque is equal to the radius times the force. And at equilibrium, all the summation of all torques is equal to zero, or it's balanced. And that means that the counterclockwise, the clockwise forces are equal to the counterclockwise uh, torques, torques, right? So how do we start this problem? Again, we write here. Summation of all, uh, no. Okay, so uh, we start with the summation, let's say, summation of all torques is equal to zero, which means um, counterclockwise, I'll write it down, but you don't have to, you can use the initials, is equal to a clock, um, clockwise, sorry clockwise is equal to counterclockwise. And now we have to find out what the directions of those torques are. Remember, this is the center of rotation, and therefore that is going like that, and that is counterclockwise. This one is going this way, right? And so the rotation for that is going to be clockwise. Okay, and that's the important part. You have to be able to determine what's the direction. So we'll start with this one, which is um, the distance ooh, from here to there. Again, I want to be very clear. It's on the 50 mark, so 50 centimeters minus 42.5 centimeters. Okay, that's the distance. You have to subtract that. Okay, and then what's the force? The force is the weight of the meter stick is equal to this one. How far away is that from there? It's 50 cm minus 20 cm. And the... Um, force or the weight is 45 grams times g okay now just a reminder that this is actually equal to m times g ms the mass of the meter stick times g okay so let's take the difference of that i think it's uh, 7.5 cm Okay. And you can actually estimate, I mean, you can do it directly, but it's always good to uh, write it out so you uh, lessen your chances of error. 50 minus 20 is 30 cm times uh, 45 grams times G. Okay, because G is on both sides, we can cancel that out. 
And to get rid of this, we divide it by 7.5 cm, both sides. And again, you know, it's always good to do this stepwise so you don't get lost. Cancel, 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 cancel. So M, M, which is going to be in M here, that's what we're looking for, M, oh, uh, MS, mass of the meter stick, is equal to, uh, what is that, 30 times 45 divided by 7.5. So the meter stick weighs 180 grams. Okay, and again, the units here is this one, right? That's all that's left. We have canceled G, which is the acceleration due to gravity, and we've also canceled centimeter here. 